hello friends now i am going to show you how you can perform edit and delete contact operation in this project so first of all you can see open this my content.sph which we perform in last video now here utd and here i am going to give img src now pick url and i uh, create two images means download from internet one is edit and one is delete so you can uh, take any images from internet now i am going to show you Sometimes it takes too much time to load. Now here I am going to log in. Then my contact, and you can see we go to your image but we need to give height and width so here we are going to give height 50 and also we are going to give width is also 50 save and now i am going to refresh here so you can see we go to here image of edit and now we are going to uh, add one more image for delete so just i am going to copy this paste here and I select delete.png save and now I am going to run this again yeah so to make bot same I am going to decrease the width still needed some okay so you can see we had here two images one for edit one for delete now first of all we are going to perform delete operation so now I am going to stop this and here we are going to perform href you can see i cover this image to in between href dead and here i am going to pass delete dot asph question mark id is equal to less than percentage has ul id it means i am going to pass here our id column data i will show you what happened my contact and here if i'm going to pass click on this you can see we got here delete.asph and id is equal to one now i am going to click on this you can see we got on delete.asph and id is equal to two so we got this id on delete.asph so now we are going to create one page delete.asph we don't want master page here in this page so add 
I will go to your page now right click and view code okay here we need to do database connectivity so we are going to perform basic operation data using system dot data dot SQL client now we need connection string so I am going to copy paste here also we need these conditions and also this so I just copy this and paste here oh. yeah now here I am going to declare one variable integer id and we are going to get that id on our variable so here id is equal to request dot query string id dot to string and now we are going to convert this id to integer convert dot to id 32 so we got this id from url and say on our local variable and now here we are going to perform delete query delete from add contact where id is equal to plus plus id and after complete this i am going to perform response to delete and forward on my content dot yes yes now we are going to check Now I am going to delete this record and you can see that record is deleted. So this way we can perform delete operation. Now I am going to show you how you can perform edit operation. So for this here in my contact you need to give link here. HREF now here also you have to write edit dot SPS then question mark ID is equal to less than percentage as you will so now we will get this ID on edit dot SPS also so first of all I am going to add new page edit.sps and here we need master page so I am going to select this select this ok now in this page we need design so I am going to copy the design from here the content page because we need text words so we are going to copy this all paste here and after paste we need to remove this first and then here we need to change the value update contact and now I am going to run again so we can see we got good design or not edit yeah you can see we got good design but we need to change here okay now uh, we have to do one thing when I will show you when you click on this edit icon I need to fill this all values like 
you can see here first name is Amit last name is Andipra contact number email so when I click on this I need these all fields are already filled so I need to change only minor things so for that and yeah here you can see we got ID also so upon that ID we are going to fill that record right click here then view code here again we need to do database connectivity basin step copy paste and then we need this copy here select top of where contact not where username where id is equal to id and here we are going to declare one variable id and here id is equal to request dot query string id dot to string and here convert dot to id 32 now here we need to write for each data or dr in dt dot rows and inside this we need to fill the values so first name dot text is equal to dr now we need to open our table in this table we are going to take first name last name contact number email address, address and city ok so here last name contact number email this all are text box name resident address and here we need to give city now here we need to pass our column name last name number email resident address which we wrote here and we need city so i think now we are getting old old records when we click on edit icon we got inside the text box with field so now my contact and edit so you can see we got our record so now if i am going to change here my contact number and then update contact so this should be changed so for that we have to pass update query so in edit.asph design first of all we need to generate click event so double click on this so yeah we go to your click event and now when you are going to perform any update operation you need to write one condition if is possible then return that is compulsory now here SQL command cmd dot command type command type dot text cmd dot command text and cmd dot execute wrong query now here we are going to pass update query update 
first name last name contact number email resident address where id is equal to id Now here we need to pass single double between plus plus sign here two times double quotes between plus plus sign now here we need to pass our text box value so first name dot text last name contact number email resident address and now city And after fire update query, we are going to forward on again our bed page. My content dot SPS. Now we are going to check our record is updated or not. Otherwise, we need to add one more session. Let's see what happened. in my contact edit and update contact so you can see our contact is updated now I am going to change first name Amit1 update contact so you can see our value is changed so this way you can perform edit and delete operation in ASP.NET and in telephone directory project Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, then please like it and share it. Thank you so much again.